Okay, Bandana Grandma's about to make some chicken pot pie. I've never made this before. I'm not looking up how to make it. I'm just letting my imagination run wild and how I think it should be made. And that's what I'm going to do. And one of my cans of chicken I processed twice because it didn't seal the first time. Well, when I took it out, it's kind of dry because it's been processed twice. So I didn't want to throw it out. It's perfectly safe otherwise. So I decided I'm going to have to juice it up somehow. And I'm going to do that with a roux or a white sauce and make chicken pot pie. So here's what I'm doing. I got my pan heating up. I had some potatoes that I had microwaved yesterday. And so I've got three little potatoes here. I got fresh onions cut up, fresh carrots cut up fresh celery cut up. So first thing I'm going to do is put some oil in this pan and get the fresh veggies sauteing before I make the white sauce and add the potatoes and chicken. And then I'll make my pie crust. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is put a little oil in the pan. And I'm going to put in my raw veggies. Save the cooked potatoes for a little later. Going to get a little caramelization on these and get them a little bit tender. They will be cooking in the oven after the uh, chicken pot pie is put together. Okay, these are slightly browned and cooked a bit. They still can cook some more in the oven. So I'm going to take them out of the pan and use the pan to make the roux or the white sauce. Already, I'm melting half a stick of butter. I wiped out this pan and now I'm melting half a stick of butter in here or a quarter cup. And when I make a white sauce or a roux, I mix equal parts of fat to flour. So I'll be putting in a quarter cup of flour for this roux. With some salt and pepper and in this case a little poultry seasoning. bit of garlic. That sounds good. Where's the garlic? Not finding my poultry seasoning. Oh, there it is. Poultry seasoning. Not my favorite kind, but it'll do. When you don't have the thing you want, you use the thing you got. All right, butter's melted. Now I'm going to add the flour and make a roux. And that's a quarter cup of butter to a quarter cup of flour. I want to cook that flour. Then we're going to add some milk to make the sauce. And this is what I'm counting on making the chicken not so dry is to have a nice sauce. Alright, so that's a roux. 
and it's about to become a white sauce when I put the milk in it and I'll add some seasoning. So we're letting this sauce cook down just a bit. Not cook down so much as to just cook because you don't want the raw flour taste. It doesn't need long. A couple of minutes stirring it constantly on low. And now you add your milk all at one time and that should give you a white sauce and I can season it up. I could season it either before or after but I'll wait till after. So then goes two cups of milk and now we'll bring it back up to heat and get a good simmer. And I'm going to add some of my seasonings. Normally I just shake, but for the sake of people watching the video, I'll give an approximate. I'm putting in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm putting in half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I think I'll put in a full teaspoon of salt. And I will put in, I'm going to start with a quarter teaspoon of pepper, but I strongly suspect I'll be adding more after I taste. You know, cooking is all about tasting. I never cook with just a recipe and go by that without tasting because there's all kinds of variables that can affect the recipe from being the same from one time to another. If you're using flour, different brands of flour might taste differently. Many recipes are affected by the humidity in the air. All kinds of things. So you always taste as you go. Some seasonings are stronger than others, brands. All right, I'm going to let this come to a simmer and then I'm going to give it a taste test. That tastes delicious. I love it just the way it is. Now I'm going to make the pie crust to go on top and then we'll be putting it all together. Time to make the crust for the chicken pot pie. I've decided just to make a top crust. Of course, you could make a bottom and top if you like. So I'm going to take two cups of flour. This is my easiest pie, oil and milk pie crust. I've got a video on it with several recipes using this pie crust. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. Now if I was making a fruit pie, something sweet, I would add sugar to the crust as well. But because this is a savory dish, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I could add some savory flavor to it, like a little poultry seasoning or thyme or, you know, basil or something. But I think I'm just going to leave it plain. Now to this, I add half a cup of oil and a quarter cup of milk. These measurements might need to be adjusted depending on your area and humidity. If it looks too dry, you can add a bit more of each. But this seems to be mixing up well. So it's a simple, simple recipe. And I usually roll it out between two pieces of wax paper. I don't have any wax paper, so I'm going to use parchment paper and hope that does as well. You don't want to overwork it. It does come out to be a nice tender crust and it's flaky, surprisingly so, seeing how you're not using a solid shortening like butter or lard or a vegetable oil salad shortening. 
vegetable salad shortening, I should say. Okay, dumping it out. I'm going to roll it out. Make my top crust. Just piece it together where you need the crust to be and roll. So you have no more excuse not to make a homemade pie because this crust is just too easy and delicious. And if you rip it, it catches right back up again. No problem. Yeah, I, I like the wax paper better, but this is doing okay. All right, my top crust is ready. I'm just going to get the other ingredients together to fill the pie plate, and we'll assemble the chicken pot pie. Okay, time for me to assemble my pot pie. I have sprayed my pie plate with a shortening type spray, uh, an oil spray. My white sauce is warm and bubbly, hot and bubbly. And now I'm going to start layering. I'm going to put some of these veggies in the bottom. I don't have a lot to layer, so I'll be sparing with them. And now here's the chicken that's kind of dry, that I'm hoping the white sauce will make nice and yummy and tasty again. So I'm layering the chicken. And I had a bag of mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables. So I'm gonna put some of those in. If you don't have those, you can just put in carrots or, or um, more carrots or peas or corn. Peas and corn probably. So I'm adding a cup of those. Right, then I'm going to pour over some of the white sauce. want to get enough so it will coat all the veggies and coat the meat. It's really tasty with the garlic and the salt and pepper and a little bit of uh, poultry seasoning. Okay, and now I'll do a little more layering. with my carrots and celery and onions. Which have been sauteed and slightly caramelized. And then I think I'll put in some more meat. The rest of the meat. Even that out. Another cup of the mixed veggies. And 
And now, the crust. All right, I'm gonna roll the excess, take a little off, because there's too much in places, into a thick edge, and then I can crimp it. Okay, now let's put an edge on it, shall we? Okay, there's my pie, chicken pot pie, and I will show you the results when I get it out of the oven. Okay, there's the pie out of the oven. Looks like it's done right. Got the darker edge on the crust. Now I'll cut into it and serve it up. Crust is flaky. Probably should let it cool a little bit so the inside won't be too runny but we'll give it a go here there's the pot pie a little bit of the potatoes to go with it doesn't that look delicious gotta give it a taste test a little chicken Potato, carrot, veggies, little crust. Wow, that is delicious.